So I've been playing around a bit with uh, accessibility features in mobile phones, generally just out of curiosity and sort of inspired by my latest um, work has sort of brought up a lot of accessibility features, mostly in browsers, but then it just, as I had devices, access to devices, um, I wanted to look at the accessibility features they offered and how as a web developer I might improve um, my web development um, accessible web development by making sure that I cater for the features that are on phones. So um, I've got a couple of phones here and um, I'll show you them all. Um, Blackberry, I've got a Blackberry Bold, it's running BB7. Um, I couldn't get access to like a Q10 or anything to see what they were like. Um, Blackberry apparently did have a screen reader but every time I go to uh, get it uh, you can't quite see that um, I get this session has expired thing uh, it when I instantly land on the site um, uh, you go through like a checklist like click download I click download and I get that instantly so um, I don't know if that works anymore so th there is no real um, there are a couple of accessibility features mostly making text bigger uh, there's nothing really for visually impaired people uh, color contrast um, there is a setting for that um, so I was a bit um, surprised really but yeah I couldn't get a screen reader to work on this so um, Android I've got a uh, Galaxy S2 here running 2.3.2 um, and there are some accessibility features on here uh, let's have a quick look there's talkback and there's the power key ends cause that's it so if I turn on uh, talkback I should be able to hear it is it not working Come on. what I was going to say is it's not actually great Uh, okay. And it's not even actually working. Um, I must have disabled it somewhere. No, nope. it's still, I've clicked it, it doesn't come on. Maybe I've disabled it. It's really rough though. Um, in this version of Android, and I suspect in any version before Ice Cream Sandwich or 4.0, uh, TalkBack was uh, pretty bad. Um, you couldn't you couldn't like find out where your finger was by hovering or anything like that. Um, so as someone who wouldn't be able to see, that feature wouldn't wouldn't really work. Uh, there's no way to. Um, when you zoom in and stuff like that, you get like a nice little magnifying glass on web pages to zoom in on things. One of the biggest criminals, this is a uh, Nokia 920 uh, running Windows 8 or Windows Phone 8. Um, I'll find out exactly what version. About Windows Phone. This is running 8.0. So there's, uh, I don't know if there's an 8.1 update. Um, the accessibility features suck severely on Windows Phone. You know, you have to go and find them and they're not called accessibility features, they're called ease of access. You can increase text size, the contrast screen magnifier, so you can double tap with two fingers um, and you sort of get this like magnifying glass. Um, and, and that's it really. Um, no screen reader. There's no screen reader in the marketplace that I could find. So if anyone knows of a screen reader for Windows Phone, that would be cool. Let me know. I've briefly spoken about um, Android. Whilst not perfect, uh, this is a Nexus 4 running um, 4.2. Um, it is really good. Um, you can hover over icons. It tells you where you are. You double tap anywhere on the screen to activate whatever icon you were hovering on. There were some issues in my previous video I, I said about the Google Voice search, but I think overall 
um, it's uh, something we can work with and I'll be looking into how um, or, or what um, ARIA roles and things like that the accessibility features support especially the screen readers um, I'll also be looking into other screen readers that are available for Android because there are some La what's the, should we do this last no we'll do this one so the Microsoft Surface alright okay so phone Windows Phone 8 doesn't have a screen reader this does um, if I remember how to get to it we can come to the home page, come up. Okay, we're gonna come up. We're gonna go to this um, we're gonna go to these all apps icon here to do narration. Starting narrator. Cool. Right. So now I wanna go We start menu. Pain. Focus on mail. Focus on mail. People. Double tap to add photos. So you can People. navigate on this. Cap. Web. Calendar. Internet Explorer. And to Double activate something. To activate. Triple tap to select. Internet Explorer cannot display the web page windows. Internet Explorer window. Yeah. Focus okay. on. Uh, I didn't connect the internet. But Stop button. Double tap to with it's start good. Menu, pain, focus on mail. But it talks a little Window bit too much. Um, I suppose people get used to these sort of things. I don't know if there is other screen readers available for it, but it's a step in the right direction. You know, um, the other accessibility switch to, features. Switch, switch to all applications. Menu. Oh, start okay. menu. Narrate. Narrator. Twenty one of thirty six. Focus on narrator settings button. Narrator myself. settings window. So focus on tap three times with voice. four finger voice. Change the speed. Pitch so you can, you've got loads of settings and stuff for the voice. Forty five. Just want to close it. I'm trying to close it. Focus on narrator. Item has no secondary action. Okay. There's no secondary action. Oh, okay. Has no Mine. Secondary There's a bunch action. of you get you get your general Windows accessibility features um, um, in it, which are good. You know, the, again, screen magnification, color contrast, and things like that. That's really cool. So, last but not least, what I declare the winner of accessibility uh, in terms of mobile, and I think a lot of people agree because I read a lot of stuff online, and a lot of people do agree. The the iPhone is the best. Um, it seems to be like unparalleled uh, with any other phone. There are a couple of phones, obviously. There's a few phones that I don't have, but I can't imagine being better than this. So similar to Android, or I suppose I don't know who came up with it first, but you so you can imagine. The way I test phones is really, like, maybe it's really bad, but I close my eyes and see if I can get around the phone. And you just double tap to access something, and to swipe you use three fingers. And it, it says enough, doesn't say too much. Um, when you activate the voice search in... For Siri, accessibility features iPhone. And this, um, you. So it uses, um, I suppose, the Siri built into it. This is just a, this is actually an iPod Touch 5. Same thing for when, for when you're testing. Um, it's really good. I'm really impressed. So, winner iPhone, a very close second that I think will improve over time is the Nexus. I'd like to try other screen readers if there are others for it. Uh, absolute losers is um, everything else. I think the Surface, you know, it, it's, it's uh, taking its features from um, 
a, a laptop anyway, or a PC. So um, it doesn't get any awards for uh, innovation and accessibility for touch screens. I suppose that's what I call it. Um, the Windows Phone. I'm really. I can't explain how disappointed I am in that Windows Phone. So, yeah, I'll keep you updated on some of the other testing that I do.